buzz continues around J.J. McCarthy on mock draft boards. The Michigan quarterback held his pro day today in front of NFL scouts and execs. In a draft that projects three quarterbacks going top three, McCarthy's landing spot will be heavily discussed over the next five weeks. McCarthy assessed his performance with our draft expert, Matt Miller. Was there anything in particular that you wanted to show NFL teams? You know, one criticism is, oh, he didn't throw a lot at Michigan. Yeah. You threw a lot today. Was there anything you wanted to show? Uh, I just wanted to show, you know, the touch balls, the layer balls, being able to step up in the pocket while keeping my posture and delivering it downfield with some tempo and some pace, but also with, you know, a lot of uh, vertical height. 150 NFL personnel here. That's the most I've ever heard of being at a, at, really? a, at a pro day. So congrats on that. Is there any added pressure when you when you realize how many NFL people are in the building here? Not at all. At the end of the day, you're just focused on your fundamentals, your mechanics, and going out there with your guys and having a blast. And you know, when you keep things simple, all that pressure doesn't seem to seep in. How much does playing for Coach Harbaugh prepare you for something like an NFL pro day? I mean so much, just with the offense and the terminology of it and you know his wisdom being in the NFL and just passing it down to me on a daily basis, it's you know invaluable and I appreciate him every day for it. McCarthy had the third highest QBR in the FBS last season behind Jaden Daniels and Bo Nix. Six points ahead of projected number one overall pick Kayla Williams, who was ranked 11th in the nation. Matt Miller is on the scene in Ann Arbor and joins us now. Matt, what were your big takeaways from McCarthy's workout today? Yeah, Kevin, I thought his workout went very well. It was a 25-minute throwing session, around 60 throws. And I think my biggest takeaway was it was better than his performance at the NFL scouting combine was. There we saw him struggle at times throwing to his left, struggled a little bit with touch throws. Today it was crisp. He missed, I counted two misses. I think he would tell you he maybe missed three or four. Those were, I thought, drops. But it was super clean and, and I think showed the arm talent, the velocity was absolutely there. There were times where he's rolling, throwing off platform. There was a great deep throw off his back foot while on the roll, showing you some of the arm strength that he has. But when I talked to JJ, he wanted to hit the touch passes. He wanted to hit the deep outs. He wanted to hit some of the underneath option routes. Those were perfect today. And I think that is a big step up from what we saw in Indianapolis. Now the test will come with the private workouts that he has with NFL teams, but the momentum is still very much building. And I talked to a GM today. There were plenty of them here who thinks that he is still in play very much as a top six pick in this year's draft. Okay, we will see how that plays out with those teams that pick potentially four five and six uh, McCarthy is on a team that just won the national championship. They are stacked here. A lot of other big name players working out for scouts. Take us through some of your observations of some of the other Wolverine players and let's start with Blake Corum. Yeah, Kevin, 150 NFL personnel here. So Blake Corum, the running back, had a chance to put on a show. What was most interesting was he really stood out as a pass catcher today. He was featured heavily during J.J. McCarthy's throwing workout and not just on traditional running back routes, but moving from the slot, working down the field. So it was a very, very smooth day for Blake, who did well in pass pro drills, did well in running back drills, but really as a receiver is what stood out the most. How about Roman Wilson? Yeah, Roman is just, he's a professional, and that showed up today as well. Had a chance to talk with him. He knows his versatility from the slot, from playing outside is very important. I didn't see him drop a single pass today, and he is another guy in play. I think it's a top 40 selection in this year's class, even with a very, very deep wide receiver group. He's right there in the mix with players like Xavier Leggett, Keon Coleman, to be a player at the top of round two, maybe sneaks his way into late round one after a strong workout today. And then Mike Zaner still also, who did defensive back drills, but Mikey actually went and ran routes for J.J. McCarthy as well, someone who was a wide receiver when he started his career here at Michigan. But throughout the DB drills, you see the agility, the footwork, and he knows his, his money in the NFL is going to come from being a nickel corner. We talked about that. He sees himself as a nickel in the mold of guys like Kenny Moore, Teron Johnson, and he had a great workout showing that short area quickness and agility that will be a hallmark of his NFL career. And to your point, Sam still played a huge part of that Michigan defense that really shut down Michael Penix in Washington with all those wide receivers in the national title game. Matt, thank you so much. Reporting live from Ann Arbor.